Jeffrey is a graduate of the College of Agricultural Sciences and currently serves as president and founder of AGIS, the capital LLC in Boston. It's an investment firm focused on farmland and related operating companies. Jeff is a valued expert in agricultural investing and impressively has been featured in top financial publications. Folks, you will be so impressed. I will read out only a couple because it's this long. It's Barron's, the Financial Times, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and his expertise has also led him to appear on the BBC, CNBC, and Bloomberg News, to name just a few. Jeff is a firm believer that a student's financial situation should not dictate whether they can pursue their educational goals. And over the years, he's created three endowed scholarships for students in both the College of Ag Sciences and the Smeal College of Business. This, this is amazing, Jeff. More recently, he made a million dollar gift supporting the newly named Jeffrey A. Conrad Center for Sexual and Gender Diversity, and he is a supporter and mentor for the College of Agricultural Sciences students, Agricultural Sciences, Students for Cultivating Change Club. This is a student organization that's leading and supporting LGBTQ plus efforts inside the college. Jeff grew up in central Pennsylvania, not far from the University Park campus, and he credits 4-H for helping him find his way to the Penn State College of Agricultural Sciences. One nominator shared, because of the impact 4-H had on his life and the understanding that a membership fee can be a barrier to a child or a family's participation in 4-H, each year, Jeff and a lifelong friend of his cover the costs of the 4-H membership fees for youth in Juniata? See, I'm still learning, Juniata County. Jeff, a first-generation college student himself, recognizes how 4-H not only helped him finance his college education, but also exposed him to the wider world outside his small rural hometown. Jeff, welcome home, and congratulations on being named an alumni fellow. We are all so proud of you. Let me hear a huge round of applause from everybody. Well, thank you, uh, President Benaputi, for that introduction. It's really, really tough to follow people like that. So, um, but I also want to thank the university, the Alumni Association, and the College of uh, Ag Sciences for this honor. Um, I'd like to recognize my family, my friends, uh, and my husband, Jeffrey, uh, for their support, and they're here this evening, so thank you. And a very special thanks to my dear friend, Misi Baker, who is a fellow 4-H Pig Club member from many years ago that nominated me for this award. And she is also a past recipient of this award. So thank you, Misi. Um, my trip to Penn State was pretty easy. Growing up in that farm, uh, small dairy farm, and being involved in 4-H, I got exposed to uh, Penn State numerous times. So when it was time to go to college, I was going to Penn State. I found the Ag Business Management major. It allowed me to combine agriculture and my interest of finance and capital markets. And that gave me a great foundation to have a career um, traveling the world, doing investment deals, meeting great people, and also um, doing some successful transactions. During that career, I have worked with a lot of Penn State graduates. And the one thing that I noticed about the graduates of Penn State is that they are very resilient and they do have a quality to thrive and, and be successful in almost any environment. And I do believe that's the same traits that we see in a Nittany Lion. So those are great traits and something that I took away from my time at Penn State. And they also are the same traits, I think, that LinkedIn might have uh, focused on when Penn State was named a leading producer of future CEOs a few years ago. And that's a very impressive uh, credential. 
So to finish up, um, I just want to thank everyone who made this trip. Hope you have a great evening. And again, thanks for this honor.